I graduated with a degree in law from college. And throughout my four years there, I thought that I wanted to be a lawyer. You know, dealing with court cases and stuff like that. I mean, like a suit and tie and stuff. So I would have been a terrible lawyer. However, once I finished my degree, I realized that law wasn't for me. It was really programming that I wanted. I wanted to build things with my fingertips. And before we get into the full story, this is my journey, okay? If you hate this and you are sending hate and say that you can't be a developer, then screw you. I did it, it's my journey. Now, I am saying a small lie. I said that my programming journey started six months ago, but it really started nine months ago. You see, before actually seeing some progress, I coded in Python for three months. I was told by a programming friend of mine that that would be the best option because it was the easiest, but I wanted to be a web developer, so I had no place in Python. And during that time, I made no progress. I was lost for the most part, and I eventually quit. So I don't really consider that part of the programming journey simply because it gave me no benefit and it didn't play a role in my entire process. And although I was super upset and a little depressed that I failed at Python, I found some motivation and I started to code again. So the first thing that I did was do CS50's Harvard course. This course not only taught me how to code, but it taught me how computers work, which is invaluable content. And within those two months in CS50, it made me realize what is possible with code because of the projects that we were doing. Like throughout the course, they, they made us do projects to build and actual like things that we could use on our portfolios. And once I finished with the CS50 course, I dove straight into JavaScript, HTML, and CSS. I used free CodeCamp's courses on web design and JavaScript and data structures. And again, here was the first time that I learned how to build a website. I started off with the HTML and CSS course where I learned how to like write text on a website, deploy a website, and design a website to look all neat and I also learned how to make websites responsive with JavaScript and though this was one of the more challenging things because of the amount of learning that's in the courses because I was coding four hours a day learning became much easier and much more fun and at and at this point I'm still struggling to build my own like applications but I understand how code works and I'm able to code in some way and that is where react came in for react all I did was follow this application called full stack open in addition I followed tutorials code by code here was was my favorite part of the programming journey. React is a framework of JavaScript, which is like a different a different way to write JavaScript, which makes it a lot easier to write. And in this month, I realized the power of web development and what you can do with just a simple language. And here's where I finally started seeing some progress. And again, this took me about a month to do, but it was the best month of my life. And once I got sort of good at React, where I wasn't totally lost following it, and I was able to like build build a very simple landing page, it was time to work on the back end. And to learn back end, I simply went back to Free Code Camp and I learned the back end and APIs course. Here's where I learned something called MongoDB, Express, and Node. These are JavaScript frameworks just like React, but for the back end. And again, this, this didn't take me long, but it was just so novel that I struggled a bit. But after a couple of weeks, I was able to make like a simple authentication page where the users could like log in and store data. And I was finally able to build like a full stack app. And finally, here we are. Right now, though I'm not perfect, I was able to build my Mentor AI, which is like a full stack application, which I'm super proud of because I, I want to build businesses and I, I want to do entrepreneurship with my code. And before I go, there's one big thing to notice too. Although I did learn these things over that six month period, I'm still learning right now. Though I've been doing React for a couple of months and I've doing I've been and I've been doing backend for a couple of months too. These are areas that I still struggle with to this day. And the goal of learning code is not to master it to the point where you don't make mistakes. It's to make less mistakes and to understand where you have to look. So a great mindset that helped me is to understand that you're simply just gonna suck for a bit and your goal is to suck less. And if it makes you feel any better, I still have to do research on how to do very minuscule tasks. And look what I built. I built something that's quite helpful and I'm quite proud of it. So if you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe and check out the video right here.